The more time I spend on YouTube, the more I realize I just love setting the art community on fire with these controversial ass topics. Hi guys, gals, gays, and theys. My name is Omnia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be asking the very real and relevant question, is the art community racist? Let's begin. So a couple weeks ago, I made a video titled Ergo Josh is the Black Artist Crusader where I discussed a little bit about the lack of diversity in the art community and how little representation black artists have in the broader art world. While I still stand by pretty much everything I said in that video, I think there is a lot that I missed out on and there's a lot more left to discuss. The main inspiration for the creation of this video was Thuman's absolutely amazing video titled Whitewashing and Blackwashing in the Art Community and her follow-up video titled Anime Characters Are Not Asian. I only just recently discovered Thuman's videos and she's an amazing black digital artist so please 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 go subscribe to her if you haven't already. If you know me, you know I support my fellow black artists. Ergo Josh, D'Angelo Wallace, Mute Chan, I know you're watching, and just now discovering Thuman. It's literally so exciting finding this small subset of black artists thriving in this extremely white dominated space and I am so excited to see more of that. But I digress, let's get into this question. So as I've previously discussed in my Ergo Josh video, the majority of the art world is white. Nearly 80% of all professional artists are white. That leaves about 20% for black, indigenous, and people of color artists. Out of that 20%, nearly 10% of those are professional Asian artists. That leaves about 10% for black, Latinx, mixed, and indigenous artists. By that estimation, we can pretty much accept the fact that black artists are as rare as shiny Pokemon. And that's simply on the standards of demographics and diversity. This is just the straight facts. The art world is disproportionately white. If you have more questions as to why that may be, definitely watch my Ergo Josh video. But yeah, glad we've established that 8 out of 10 artists are white. Continuing on... The art world has historically been a white dominated space and continues to be one. Before art became something that is fairly universally accessible, being an artist usually meant that you were privileged in some way or another, whether you were white or you lived in Europe. I mean, why do you think only white or European artists first pop up when you search famous artists and painters in Google? The only non-white artists that show up are El Greco, Pablo Picasso, and Salvador Dali who are all from Spain, which is in Europe, which proves my first point. Now, just because most artists today are white doesn't mean that the art community is racist. Sure, there may be some shitty artists out there, but that doesn't make the community as a whole racist, right? I originally thought that there was some semblance of understanding in the art world in regards to racism, stereotyping, and caricatures, but I was disappointingly completely and utterly wrong. I mean, if you look under Thuman's comment section, I feel like you would also begin to lose your hope for humanity. Like, sis did not pass the vibe check. The ignorance jumped the fuck out. It's actually really disheartening and awful. I had the most physical and visceral reaction. I had to step away. I had to go. The shit... <laughs> the shit had me disappointed. So because I was so absolutely distraught over that comment section, I feel that there are some very necessary things that need to be reiterated here. First, a quick disclaimer though, everything I will be saying is my opinion and my opinion only. You can agree or you can disagree, that's totally fine. None of what I say is put into a vacuum or is applicable to all artists and all people. These are just generalizations and obviously I'm not saying all artists do this or all artists do that. With that being said, I think it's important that if you are a part of the 80% of artists who are white to have a seat and get comfortable because it's your turn to listen and allow black artists to speak this time. It is not the job of white folks to decide what is or is not racist and it is not their place to decide whether or not issues in the community pertaining to black artists are harmful. Black artists can speak on their own behalf. Please hold your comments till the end. All right, with that out of the way, let's collectively try this exercise. Think of all the popular black artists that you know of. Maybe you thought of Kennedy Wiley, you know, the guy who drew Obama's portrait, or maybe the absolute stunning and amazing senpai Ergo Josh, or some other black artist online. Now, let's think of all the popular white artists that you know of. Maybe you thought of Van Gogh, or Lemia Crescent, or the majority of the art world. The point of this exercise is simple. 
We need to understand that diversity often translates into inclusion. When the population of a community is more homogeneous, subtle microaggressions or offhanded comments about race or ethnicity often go under the radar because there isn't diversity of thought. Everyone's alike. There is no discourse or pushback on the things that are said or the ideas that are perpetuated. Thus, with less diversity in the art world comes less representation in the art world. If 80% of artists are white, that likely means that 80% of art is white. More original characters are white. More byproduct of the art world is white. While not all white artists draw exclusively white characters, there is definitely more representation of white or Asian characters in media because there are more white and Asian artists. Just how some black artists enjoy drawing black characters, white and Asian artists might also also enjoy drawing white or Asian characters. Like I said, this isn't applicable to all artists, but there is definitely a trend. There are disproportionately more white and Asian characters in the art world, and there just so happens to be disproportionately more white and Asian artists in the art community. Just speculation, but I doubt it's a coincidence. Obviously, with a more homogeneous population and less representation, diversity, and inclusion in the art world, there will be more than a couple racist oopsies that occur over time. You know, just a couple. <laughs> ah. And it's no doubt that some white artists fail to recognize what a caricature even is. Like, it's okay to admit that you're not able to decipher what is racist and what isn't, because you're white. You're not the butt end of the joke. Here's a golden example. Crypto Art, a white artist, claimed that another artist, RCD Art, was drawing racist caricatures in her video titled, The Worst Tumblr Artist Ever. Ghostbusters. Now, I want you guys to look at this image. Look at it really hard. Squint your fucking eyes till they bleed looking at this image. And I want you, in your mind brain, to focus on what you think the issue here is. If you stated that you literally cannot tell if this image was made with racist motivations towards Leslie Jones, then you are absolutely right. The press surrounding this movie was also just mcfrickin' terrible. It got to the point where people were saying the worst things imaginable to her and about her. So the fact that she is drawn in this way and is the only character in this image shown to have fucking lip, it feels purposeful and in a not so great way. It feels like it was done in malice. Now, this is a great example of a white artist claiming to know what is and what isn't racist when the majority of the black folks who saw the artwork saw little to no issues with it. Take my favorite YouTuber of all time, for example, Mia Chan, who is a fellow black artist. In her video titled My Issue with Creepshow Art from a subscriber, Mute responds with, Now, as a black person myself, I can tell you looking at the artwork that I don't really agree with this statement. I'll put a picture so you can see for yourselves, but to me, yes, the proportions are exaggerated, but I wouldn't consider these to be racist depictions of black people. If anything, I think they're stylized. In order for this to be deemed racist, I think there would have to be some kind of negative portrayal in the artwork, or something that portrays the people drawn in a negative light. I think that just exaggerating or stylizing features isn't inherently racist. Even if you scroll down in the comments of the Tumblr artist video, you'll see top comments that feel the same way I do. Now one of these comments, only from a few weeks ago, sums up my thoughts perfectly. Hey, I said this somewhere else, but I thought I'd post this for you to see. I'm a black woman, and I don't think the Leslie Jones, Anthony Mackie, Donald Glover, or even the Nicki Minaj slash Taylor drawings were that bad. I actually like the Ghostbusters one. This video is slightly uncomfortable because your reasoning keeps going to the large lips and wide noses of African slash African American people, but, like, those are part of our features. And I think our lips and noses are cute slash beautiful, and can be emphasized in stylized drawings. I'm not a huge fan of Roy's art, Roy being the artist's name, by any stretch but I don't think every one of their drawings is offensive. The Captain America and Finn drawings are jarring, I agree, but their other stuff didn't bother me that much. Your heart is in the right place, but I think it'd be helpful if you ask these groups of people who are the subject matter of these artworks, what their views are, and what they think factors into an art piece being an offensive caricature versus a stylized representation. 
Logistically, I find it even more disheartening to see that Creepshow Arts video boasts 1.2 million views while Me Chan's video only has about 135,000 views. Why are we allowing white artists to claim to know what is and what isn't racist while black artists get significantly less exposure and less of a voice? These are issues directly impacting us, and black artists have every right to talk about whether or not an artwork or a character is or is not racist to them because it impacts them. Creepshow Art doesn't need to be speaking on behalf of the black community because she isn't black. As Meet said, she probably has good intentions, but very few black people, me included, found those drawings to be racist. She's indirectly speaking for and taking the voice away from the groups she's trying to defend. Now, we covered the lack of diversity, inclusion, and representation in the art community. We talked a little bit about how detrimental it is for white artists to directly and indirectly speak on behalf of black artists when black artists have every right to speak for themselves. After covering all that, we have to return to our original question. Is the art community racist? I don't think that it's fair to say all of it is because that's a gross misrepresentation and overgeneralization, but there is definitely a lot of ignorance. It's okay to admit that ignorance is prevalent in a community that has so little exposure to black folks and people of color. Like I said, only 20% of all artists are black, indigenous, or people of color. It's actually kind of expected when someone isn't ex exposed to a person of a different culture, ethnicity, or race, it's really hard to know how to be respectful or know what to do. It's okay to admit that you don't know what constitutes as racism to black folks. It's okay to take a step back and listen to black artists explain what they think. It's okay to admit you don't know enough to have a fucking opinion. It's just a matter of sitting down, knowing that you don't know, and opening your mind to perspectives that are different than yours. Embrace that uncertainty and confusion. Know that you don't know everything. Allow others unlike you to teach you. Reach out to black artists, support black artists, uplift black artists, give black artists the platform and the voice to speak on behalf of themselves and their own community. None of this should be difficult to do or hard to swallow. Asking as a mixed black person myself for someone to accept their ignorance and not be racist shouldn't be a hard ask. This video shouldn't be controversial controversial, just as Thuman's whitewashing blackwashing video shouldn't have been controversial, but unfortunately it was. If we want to work towards decreasing the amount of ignorance prevalent in the art community, it's necessary to prioritize black voices and black creativity, support a local black business, ask for a commission from your favorite black artist, expose yourself to black people, and lend yourself as a resource to enable us to have bigger, better, and more influential platforms in the art community. Let me know what you think about racism and ignorance in the art community in the comment section down below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what I have to say, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!